Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Jasmine Summerford. I do lifestyle, home decor, and beauty related videos. I am in the middle of just getting a brand new home and I did a little bit of a renovation on it and um, I'm just here with an update um, to show you guys what it looks like. Um, I'm currently in the car. Uh, because I had to actually do my intro part of this video um, the next day after filming the house and how it looks after the renovation. But I wanted to hop on and make sure that I did a quick little intro. And now I'm going to show you the house fully renovated. For those of you who are new here, um, we completely took down a wall. We also um, replaced all the flooring, a brand new staircase, renovated the kitchen, had every bedroom painted. Pretty much the house is a brand new house. If you haven't seen the first um, walkthrough of the house, I did show it before the renovation. So I'll link it below and you can check out that video first and then check out this one to see how it looks. I really love it and it honestly came out completely stunning. Like I'm so happy with the way it came out and I can't wait to show you. So let's jump into it. So walking in, the first major change you see in the house are these beautiful vinyl wood floors. I absolutely love these floors because believe it or not, in some lighting they look like kind of like a brown tone and in darker lighting they look kind of like a, like a gray tone which is really like I absolutely love it. The wall is completely out and from the sunroom as you can see. And we also added a beautiful shiplap wall as well as an accent piece. I really love the way it came out. I think it's a huge statement. One of the most major renovations in the whole house for me was the kitchen. I knew that I needed a white and black kitchen and that's kind of what I went off of when designing this one. It wasn't the largest kitchen, so I knew by adding white subway tiles and white cabinetry with accents of black, it would really make the space pop. There wasn't a lot of work that I did in the dining room, just the floors and the paint. I did do a pop of very light gray, just to tie those floors amongst all the white, and I think it came out beautiful. Without this wall here, the space is so open. It honestly looks so huge compared to what we were working with before. I love that we painted over all the wood because the wood was a really dated look and now it looks super just grand and just beautiful. And for the kitchen, I also want to mention that I added quartz white countertops, but they have like little speckles of like glitter in them. They're really beautiful. And one of my favorite accents is this black farmhouse hood with a farmhouse sink. If you guys have been following along with me on my channel for a while, you know that I absolutely love my farmhouse style, so I knew I needed a farmhouse sink in my kitchen, and I'm just so happy with the way it came out. And don't mind all the mess you're seeing. Unfortunately, we haven't had the chance to move out absolutely everything that was left over from the last owners. So that will be out soon. And also the contractors left behind a few things. So that's the little things that you're seeing in the kitchen and things like that. But now we're heading up the stairs. And I just wanna say this staircase is one of my absolute favorite features of the house. I love the white with the walnut floor. It's just beautiful, I love it.
and most of our upstairs is done. Since it was only painted up there, we were able to actually decorate it a lot easier and faster than the rest of the house. So I'm just going to pop in and show you my glam room. I absolutely love this shade of pink. If you guys are looking for the perfect shade of pink, this is called Pink Bliss, and it's just that perfect blush toned pink. It's not too dark, not too pinky like Pepto-Bismol. It's just like a very subtle pop of pink. I absolutely love that. I knew I needed cheetah print in my room just to make it even more the glam. And I knew I needed a large mirror and mannequin, but I absolutely love it. I just think it looks absolutely beautiful. It's honestly like my favorite place to be. Sometimes I sit in there in the mornings, have a little cup of coffee in my little pink glam chair, and I absolutely love it. This is gonna be where I hold all my Disney stuff, and I can't wait to show you guys an updated video on that. And then on this second bookshelf, I'm gonna be showcasing some of my most favorite fashion pieces from Michael Kors, Louis Vuitton, all that. So definitely stay tuned for that. Next, you're walking into our master, and luckily for us, our bed was delivered um, same day I was filming, so this is kind of ha what it looks like. I'm sure by now you could probably tell the theme, but I'm still not gonna give it away because I have some pieces I wanna add just to um, the walls and things like that, some decor pieces, and once it's all finished, like I said, I will be doing a full home tour with everything fully decorated and things of that that nature so stay tuned for that lastly I'm taking you to my hubby's gentleman's room and this isn't completely finished yet but some of the major pieces are in here like the leather brown sofas as well as his record player the lighting wasn't great in this room the day I recorded so I will be recording it again in a future video but yeah this is it so far and I think it came out really cute I love that it's more classy and not tacky with like neon signs or beer pictures or anything. I think he did a great job. But if you made this to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Also, do not forget to subscribe. That way you can be notified every time there are brand new videos here on my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.